Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzerk Arcade at bergzerkarcade.net and here we are back again with another item system, uh, not really a tutorial, I think we're calling them Kotalongs now, so let's go ahead and we'll jump right in. So we're going to open up Unity, we're working on the actual display of our weapon, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up, uh, create weapon, so we've got the name, and I want to continue on with that, at least uh, in this one here, go ahead and get all of the values down here so that we can change them and... Let's actually try to get it all done and be able to enable the save button. Right now, I guess technically cancel does work because it, it doesn't save it. Just gets us out of there. But let's go ahead and we'll jump into the rest of it. All right, so I'm in weapon. We inherit from IS object. Uh, actually, it's right next to it. <laughs> guess we didn't need to search for it. But anyway, so uh, we have the name. We have an icon value. I want to get these ones done first, the base ones. Of course, what we could do is actually create it on GUI here as well, then just call that from the other one. We might do that a little bit later on, but for now, well, that would actually add quite a bit less coding later on because we won't have to keep redoing it. Hmm. I actually like that idea. We are going to be moving these on GUI functions to a different script later on, but for now, it makes really good sense to have them in the class themselves because... It just keeps it out of the editor. It's going to have so many different items in the editor. I don't want all the all the on GUI stuff there because it's going to be huge. And this way here, it's also a little bit easier to see as well. So we'll go ahead and make that on GUI function. And we did name before, didn't we? Yeah. So I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this line. And here I'm going to say base. Well, it's actually public. So we can just say, well, Hmm. Here, do we want to make this virtual? Now, let's just go ahead. Well, we actually are going to have to make it virtual. Now, for those that don't know, when you have a, a method that you want, uh, basically some, well, some base functionality in it, and later on when other things inherit from this class, you're going to have uh, basically that same method called again and maybe different functionality or just it's going to be different, uh, but you want the same method name. In C Sharp, you can go ahead and mark something as virtual and make sure you put it in the right spot. There we go. And when you're in the class that is going to inherit from it, uh, we can do it. I'm not sure why I put public there. Oh, because I want it to be public, duh. <laughs> Which means this should be public too. And for here, we want the override keyword. Now the override just basically says that this on GUI overrides the whatever, over whatever uh, on GUI we had in the base class. The first thing I'm gonna do is call the base one. Cause I still want that to display. This is where we're gonna have the name and everything else. And then we're gonna append onto it for the stuff that we actually have in this class. Great, so now I can come back in here and I got rid of that name, didn't I? Yeah, oh well. Name is equal to GUI layout dot uh, text field. And I forgot it was an actual editor layout. So we'll need using Unity Editor. Look at the editor GUI layout, text field. Then we need a label, what we want to display. We've already done this one already. I think that's it, that should be good. So we also have an icon. I'm gonna save the icon for the end. Uh, so let's do value burden, and, well, value and burden next. We can actually just copy paste since these are, well, not technically strings. We'll have to convert them. Value is uh, an int. And we'll have to grab this. And we'll convert this to a string. Let's get rid of that. That's a mistake. And we can't convert a string to int. We'll have to do a different way here. So we'll use convert for this. I don't think we need the namespace. Looks like we will need it. So let's call system.convert dot to int. Now we have a choice here between the 16, 32, and 64 bit versions. I'm just going to pick a 32. And of course, we'll just encapsulate that in the commas. And we can actually go ahead and just do this one for the burden as well. 
Make sure you spell it right. And right here. So that's three of them done. Let's go up to the top. So we got name in. So now we need icon and IS quality. These are not just simple ones to display that we just do in one line because we want them to actually be editable as well. So something similar to the way we did it with our, our quality. So since they're going to be more than one line, I'm actually going to make functions for them. And I actually want to put a few more lines. Whoops. Spaces up here. To be placed in a new, not a Sue, new class later on. Okay, so public. Actually, we can keep this private. It will not return anything. I'm just going to call it display icon. And now that I think of it, I actually do want this to be public. And also another public void display quality. And maybe display isn't really quite the right word because I also want it to be edible, but we're going to leave it for that for now. I'm just going to quickly throw a label in here. Just so I have uh, it actually being taken up like some room. It's being taken up so I know it's there. Oh, let's go ahead and copy this down here. And of course, we'll call these up here as well. We'll do icon first. And I completely spelled display wrong both times. <laughs> Did I cut and paste that? Skills. All righty. And we'll display quality. I'm just going to quickly save that off, head back into Unity, just make sure that's working. Uh, we are calling the base, so here should update. Ah. I forgot to save the weapon class, didn't I? <laughs> I got you now. Well, maybe. If I, can, if I can tab to the right screen, I can. All right. So name, name, name. Mm, we're doing that wrong. And we also want in here. GUI layout dot begin vertical. I guess we could do a scroll view. For now, I'm just going to do a vertical just so they're all on their own line. And of course, we have a begin. We need an end. And let's actually change these the labels so we know exactly what these are. Value and burden. All right, create a new one. So we haven't done I, the icon and the quality yet, uh, but we do have a name, we do have a value, we do have a burden. It's shown the default values for everything. Uh, we're gonna wanna rearrange some of these a little bit later on, but for now, that's a good start. We've got the basic display going for the item. And of course, every item that we inherit now off of there is automatically have that built in. So let's go ahead and move on to the IS weapon. So what do we got here? Uh, I'm gonna do a quick copy. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it down here just so I know what values I have to work with. All right, so pretty simple. Int, int, int. And we'll have to change these, well, functions for these, but that's fine. It's not too hard, right? I'm not sure I'm going to need another horizontal here. I might, I might not. We'll find out. If we do, we'll just add it. So since the first three are just ints, I'm actually just going to copy one of these. Let's bring that back. All right, so the first one, min damage. And I'm just gonna say damage for now. We got the min damage here, right? Yeah, it's an int. There we go, that's because the air's down here. That's fine. All right. So what do we have? We have two more. Durability. And I'm actually gonna do this one different. I'm gonna say durability. And I want the minimum. 
or like, I guess the regular durability. And we're not going to need string format because I'm actually going to add onto the string. I'm going to put that little slash. And then I'll go ahead and add on the max durability. So I actually don't need this one. Or either of them. Uh, that should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create two more functions for these because they're going to take more than one line. So I want to put them down here. But I will make them public. So well, do not return anything. And we see the first one's equipment slot. So display. Oh, got it right that time. Equipment slot. And public void display. Yeah, I guess we'll keep calling it prefab. Yeah, I like that name. I'm just going to copy that label line. We know how I am with typos. There we go. So now we can go ahead and get rid of these and put those display methods up here. And I still have a, an error, but I'll have to check that out. So we're going to go with display is it quali quality. Oh, I got to change it. Uh, equipment slot. And then a display prefab. It helps by change these too. Ah, good. my fingers just don't seem to want to go right. Anyway, this is prefab. Great. Let's go ahead. We'll take a look. Uh, let's actually make the comment up here. Not enough caffeine or too much. You decide. Actually. Let's there we go. We'll just finish that off. We'll go ahead. We'll take a look. And when we create a new one, huh, it's not what I expected. Can't close it. So let's go see. We've got a format exception. And is it because does it say what line? It probably does, but I can't see. <laughs> uh, down here. 121. Ah, it's because I'm trying to assign those values back in and I can't because this is a string. So I'm, uh, I do want it to display like this. The way we're going to be sending those back in has to be different though. So I'll go back to the original way. And we'll just go ahead and cut that out. And this is max durability. Okay, that should take care of it, but I do want it to display the other way later on. Well, maybe for the editor, we'll keep it this way. Uh, but here we go, we got the name value. So we got all the regular ones. Then it came over here to do damage, durability. We scroll out, we'll get max. So not quite what I want. So it looks like I have to continue on with that. So this is a horizontal layout in here. So this actually has to go to my actual database editor. That's the quality. Uh, not quite what we want here either. Don't need that one anymore. Doesn't look like I have it open. Let's go ahead, we'll grab that. It's, uh, let me see. No, 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 I need the editor. We gotta go into the editor folder. And we're looking for details. Right here. So we'll go in, we call display weapon. Um, let's see, what do we have it in? We're gonna need, so we have a horizontal and an N horizontal. What we need in here is actually a vertical and I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm trying to think, I don't think actually I need this horizontal. I can't remember what I was putting that one in for. I think we just switch this one over. Maybe. I'll keep all the exact same things up there. Except here now we have N vertical. Let's save that off. Let's check this out. There we go. So the icon and quality 
and the prefab and equipment slot, which I don't have set up yet. Cause like I said, I want to make them editable, but I do want them a, a space for them. I'm not going to bother formatting this any further as far as, you know, like, oh, let's make this one so much longer and that. We'll do that later when we actually move those methods out into their own script. And I want to clear this error just to make sure it's not still popping up. I believe that's the old one. Great, great weapon. Well, we got that part done. Next, let's go ahead and start working on these four here. The only four we have left. And let's go ahead and we'll start that in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.